Well, thank you for inviting me to come back to talk to you about um, careers in geology. Last time I told you about why I thought that geology would be perfect for everybody to study and how to uh, get a geology degree here at CSU Stanislaus. And then reflecting on, on what I had said last time, uh, the question came, well, okay, so now that I have a BS degree in in geology from TSU Stanislaus, what am I going to be able to do with that? Um, personally, I think you should go get a job. Uh, geology is one of those disciplines in which right now there is a lot of employment and a great need for it because geologists are the specialists that worry about getting the petroleum and oil gas that is needed to fuel our society, the metals, the non-mineral, non-metallic minerals, that we need to construct our roads, our buildings, our houses. Houses are mostly done with wood buildings. Uh, we're also the ones that are in charge of finding the water resources that are going to be needed for the consumption of the ever-growing cities and uh, uh, irrigation of our ever-expanding architecture. And we're also in charge of working together with civil engineers in the construction of civil works in the improvement of our environment and in the protection of society about uh, risks, natural risks. So I figured I would tell you that by telling you the story of some of my students. This uh, young man you see in this uh, slide, his name is Josh. Josh graduated a few years ago and he went to work with the California Geological Survey. It's really a, a very good group of, of people and he has been in charge of looking at some of the um, engineering problems that are associated with the extraction of sand and gravel. The only problem with government is government doesn't pay that much. I think he, after three years, is probably on the, on the 60,000 uh, per year income. Um, and also, I always like to see people in government having a lot more experience. So I would recommend that you consider going into, into industry. Now, one option, and this is something that I talked with, with Josh, was for him to get his master's in engineering geology, and I recommended CSU San Jose as an excellent place uh, to continue your studies once you finish here at CSU Stanislaus. Ah, yes, my two redheads. I actually have three redheads, and they were all at the same time, and they, they were all smart and, and brilliant. On the left here, you see Heather. Heather just finished this last uh, May, and she right away got a job with an environmental company, mostly because of her very strong knowledge of hydrogeology, and, um, and which is one of the specialties that you would study here at CSU Stanislaus. She is thinking on working for a couple of years, and then would really like to pursue a master's degree, so she was asking me where to go. And I think for hydrogeology and environmental geology, I would recommend either CSU Sacramento, the, the hydro person there is just excellent, and, uh, or going to CSU Fresno. Fresno is more interested in water quality. They deal with a lot of the contamination issues found in the aquifer because of the heavy agriculture, but they also have a very decent uh, master's program. On the right there, you see Molly. Molly is one of my smartest students of all time. Um, she actually knows chemistry very well, and she is also interested at some point on working in, in hydrogeology, but mostly in geochemical problems. And, but she right away, after she finished, looked into going to graduate school. So to her, I recommended CSU East Bay. The professor there is really a very good uh, lady. Uh, very good geochemist, and she has very strong ties with Lawrence Livermore uh, Laboratory. So you get to have all the expensive toys that are necessary for geochemistry. Uh, my friend Ken, there on the left, Ken had a, had a hard time finding the perfect job. Um, he was he wanted to work in environmental geology. But um, as it turns out, that industry is kind of a little depressed right now. And uh, so he had to, he paid for his 40-hour hazmat training and, uh, and got a job. But the job was somewhere in, in the East Bay. 
So after six months, he got tired of the, of the commute and then jumped to another company in Ripon that does geophysics and geotechnical studies. And the reason why he got the job is because he had a very strong geophysics preparation. So he, um, he also, well, he started at an excellent salary, 60000 and he's looking forward. The company wants to make him the specialist in geophysics. Where to go to graduate school? I would go to CSU San Diego, which has probably one of the top programs in the whole country. On the right is my dear Kate, my pride and joy. Kate finished a couple of years ago, and she finished in December. So she wanted to go into mineral deposits and asked me if I could recommend a place for her to work and to go to school. Uh, I actually took her to University of Nevada in Reno, and I know the people there, and she got just an excellent deal for her master's degree. It's a fully paid master's. Plus, they recommended he, her to work with Newman Corporation, which took her as an intern for nine months at what would be the equivalent of $60,000 per year for an internship. Now she is uh, well into finishing her master's. She gave herself two years to do it, and she's going to do it. And Newman, Newman already offered her a permanent job at $90,000 per year and told her that after working two or three years, they really would like for her to do a master's in business administration so that she learns about managing the whole mine, at which point her salary is just going to skyrocket and it's going to be uh, wonderful. Ah, this is Chad, the wild man from Oklahoma. Chad wanted to work in petroleum geology, so immediately after he finished, he went to Oklahoma and got himself a job as a mud logger, and he's there in his full-size suit because he is by the drill rig. He's a geologist in charge of directing where the, the drilling proceeds, when to turn it around, when to go horizontal. And um, he started also at a very good salary, 55000 I think. By now, he's up to sixty-five. And at the end of the year, when he will go to the next step, he's probably going to go into the eighty or $90,000 a year rank. Unfortunately, that's going to be the end for him. So what he needs to do after that is step down and get a master's degree. And there are a couple of excellent universities for that. CSU Bakersfield is not very far from us. And CSU Long Beach, both of them located where some of the large petroleum reservoirs of California are located. Uh, what about getting a PhD? Well, I have a PhD, so clearly I think it is an important thing. But let me tell you, it's, it's a resistance. It's, it's an endurance test. You have to be ready to be chewing at it for anywhere from six to eight years. And you must really enjoy research because for six of those years, you're just going to be dealing with the one problem. And you're going to dissect it to, to the bottom. Um, I think you really need to to love research and be thinking that money is not the most important thing. As a geologist, you would like to work with a US Geological Survey or the Lawrence or one of the national labs, but there are not that many jobs in there. Uh, of people that get PhDs, half of them are unemployed, 25% uh, are working in, this, in government, and 25% are in academia. And academia is a great thing. You get to torture students, um, but you really like, need to like them. You need to be an educator by heart and not be too interested in the money because, honestly, there is not a lot of money here. My recommendation to everybody is finish your BS, go and work for a couple of years, earn good money, pay back your loans, don't do anything foolish like getting married or buying an expensive card. Then go back to graduate school, get a master's degree, then go work at, at a very nice level, at a very nice salary for about five years, get experience, put flesh on your bones, and then after that, if really you are an educator at heart, then is the time to do a PhD and, and pursue that facet of your life. Um, I have stressed money because honestly, most of my students barely scrape, and when they finish, they have uh, lots of loans to pay. It is, of course, a profession that you do because you love it, and, and there's great satisfaction in that. 
but it doesn't hurt if somebody pays you for it, you know? Well, I hope you have enjoyed this brief uh, description of where are the areas of employment in geology right now, what are the potential of them, and some suggestions as to where you may want to consider going for your master's degree later in time. Thank you very much.